Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of Beginning Friendly Germany in Dark Round 3. And in previous episode we attack into Turkey. We didn't get particularly far, although we did just take Izmir near the end there. And I think just one more point will suffice. Which is probably going to be Trebizond. Unless we go all the way to Gaziantep. Well, anyway, we are going to be taking Turkey today. Unless we run out of complete yard of supplies, which I suppose is not out of the possibility. Or the realm possibility. Is there any? No. So the points would be there, there, and then these two. Right. Well, I suppose I can just keep on moving along the coast here. So, I mean, at least Bulgaria is getting some nice things out of this. That's for sure. Like, Istanbul does have uh, four factories. Of course, they won't be able to use most of them. Or they won't get the benefit from most of those. Quite yet. Right, so these are moving. Ah, Battle Mass. Those are moving, that's moving, that's gonna be moving into Karakurt. And yeah, our manpower has been growing quite extensively. I mean, we're getting over 100 per month, which is about as much as, uh, at least in Black Eyes, when you conquer pretty much all of China, you get about that much as a Chinese nation. So, yeah, I'll. Um, well, pretty decent population, I'd say. Of course, comparing Black Ice and Vanilla is uh, a bit of a moot point in a lot of ways, but yeah, I'll just get rid of these. Partisans that the Dutch produced for us. I mean, it's dealt with rather quickly, to be fair. How about you just go back there, and once you've dealt with that, you go back to the headquarters. Then you'll go to Deventer, and you go back to Assen. Yeah, so we clear out a decent bit of this uh, underground resistance business in here. Or how we're still pushing it. Oh, we're out of fuel. That's the problem. It doesn't surprise me, to be fair. Okay, well, how about we send a tank in to take Trebizond? If it's fast enough, it might be able to take that before the end of the month. Ah, uh, no, I don't think it's going to be fast enough. It's a bit of a hilly countryside and muddy ground there. Oh, oh, we've got a naval behind here. Let's actually slow down a little bit for this. So we can kind of see that we are, oh, well, they got a lot of destroyers. We just sank one of them. How are our destroyers doing? Really good, actually. We're not really taking much of a hit yet. And Craftsby has taken, oh, Craftsby is taking a lot of hits now. We sank one of their destroyers. I think we'll just go back home and repair. But I say that was a victory. Of course, they can build new destroyers easily. I mean, I think we got about the same amount of industry, I reckon. Oh, I'm not sending any spies into USA. Oh, wait, that's just access. Okay, there we go. Um, Actually, they do have a bit bigger industry than I do. That is a bit of concern. But yeah, we'll need to put in a lot more IC into repairs for a little bit then, but... Yeah, we destroyed one, damage uh, a couple one or a couple of them. So I'd say that was pretty good. Right, so how quickly are we into Drebizond? Um it may take some time still actually. The other way is not gonna be any faster, unfortunately. Although there's probably not a lot of enemies defending Gaziantep because it's so deep into their territory. Mach uh, mechanical computing machine has upgraded so that's going to increase our research speed a tiny bit it's not a massive increase in the speed but it's an increase right so i suppose i might want to get another is there a there's some revolt risk down here so how about you are placed into the third core as well i know it's a bit far away but it's going to allow us to kind of keep this area under control for the time being now we've got a bit of a combat going on in there Looks like we're winning easily. Well, I mean, of course we're winning easily. Who is Germany? Like, these troops have uh, battled through Soviet Union. Of course, okay, not all of these have necessarily been all the way through. Also, we got the von Manstein in command of the Stalingrad headquarters. It's just he had the highest skill level. So I figured I'd use him there. And he was still commanding, like, the 3rd Panzer Division. This right here. So the new commander is not quite as experienced, but that's fine. 
There we go, we're pushing the enemy back from there. We're going to try to get to Ikdir. Electron computing machine and undercurrent resistance in Frederick's Haven has been destroyed. So, yeah, that's... Electro con electronic computing machine. I cannot talk today. Uh, does increase the research speed as well a little bit. Well, actually, a bit more than the mechanical one, but... It's not like insanely good bonuses, but it is certainly worthwhile. But yeah, from technology we only get like um, 18% right now, so 12% from the computing or electronic... Wait, no. 10% from the uh, computing and probably 8% or 6%... No, 8... Hold on a minute. Do we have something else that is giving us research speed then perhaps? Oh, this one. Okay, yeah, so it's 6% from the mechanical, then 2 from the sensor stabilizing machine. So that's all right, and the reinforcements over here. Uh, oh right, did I? I did bring in the transport down here, didn't I? I did. Now, unfortunately, I can't really replace it at all the craft speed quite yet. Once I get some more, oh, uh, submarine anti-aircraft armament, good. Uh, we can probably cancel that one now. Yes, definitely. Assault ships are going to be quite handy when we start doing assaults or the landings into America. I reckon those are going to be needed. It's just they land the troops a lot faster. And with a fairly good effectiveness. Hold on, where was the... It would be there. Okay, I want to start driving towards Ankara. And you, I suppose you can start moving towards uh, Gazian Tip just in case. But we should be basically done with this war soon enough. Around the start of the next month, I reckon. Or like the first half of uh, February. Oh, right, let's actually go back to speed 3. I forgot that I lowered it. But yeah, um, how is Japan doing in Australia? They've expanded a little bit again. Not with a massive speed, but they are expanding. Oh, we've got some tactical bombers that we're getting now. I think we're going to start placing them in... Well, maybe not Calais, because there's no one in there right now. Although, I suppose we could just move the unit back in there. So you are going to go on the Totem Call for... Not the not token. Uh, Ob Ob West is uh, the one that you're going to be under. We're going to increase a bit of upgrades. But yeah, we'll be getting a lot. Actually, how good is our medium bomber practical? 17.1. So there's still room for improvement there. After 25, I don't think it really increases the bonuses. So that is something to keep in mind. But of course, you probably do want to keep it at uh, as high as possible. And sometimes you just need the troops even though you're not gaining any extra bonus. Ah, rocket artillery ammunition. That's level 1, so that's extra 1 in soft attack for the rocket artillery. So it's already getting closer and closer to the... Actually, how close is it now to the qualities of the artillery? Uh, it's still quite a bit behind in soft attack. Hard attack is about the same. Uh, behind in defensiveness and toughness. And same in air defense. It's a bit... Uh, it can go faster at least. But again, it uses more supplies and all that sort of stuff. So it does cause some issues in places that are far away from supply lines. But yeah, I think... Did we... We had a second core of uh, tanks here, which... It, oh, that's the mechanized one. Right. Let's get you to Calais. We can transport you over to Britain. And to start gathering up these troops in... Oh, right. Uh, you should probably be assigned under the army in Liverpool or something. For the time being. And did we get the... Oh, yeah, we did get the Harris Group E. E in here. Let's put you under the OB West. These could probably get to set them there. Just get more troops into Britain. I mean, we got a decent concentration of troops there, but if we could... Kind of free up... Oh, right. Uh, where are the... Paratroopers are not here yet. <laughs> the Spanish are surrounding this. Oh, there's a Swedish ship there. And a Polish ship. Oh, there's a total of four ships there. with Swedish and Polish ships there. But yeah, just dropping in a um, decent bit of troops here. Um, as many paratroopers as I can, I should be able to take out Gibraltar. And it's going to give us the victory condition and also the strategic modifier from that. Extra supplies and supply consumption goes down. A little bit, then that's all, all the things that are at the bottom of the list here that I can get. The air combat is still something that I've not really gotten more since the last time. And there's still room for... Uh, we need 10 more 
Wings of uh, Planes, which I believe we are going to be getting. Oh, yeah, we are going to be getting that. Easily. Okay, we're moving to Drebizond. A submarine engine and rocket carriage in sight. Uh, right, so that's ahead of. Let's actually have a quick look at the rocket carriage in sight. What did that. Oh, that increased defensiveness. Okay, good. And a bit of toughness as well. Well, that's uh, that's good. That's good. So when are we there? Tomorrow. Assuming that the weather doesn't get any better or worse. You're going to... Actually, you just move down to Igdir. You move down to Igdir. You move down to Igdir. And we got the assault ship. Let's actually have a look. How does it compare to the landing craft? It has the same range. Um, it's the same speed. It has higher air defensiveness and sea defense. It needs a bit more icy. I, I don't remember. I don't think I can see the stats in here. But yeah, we'll get some of these for some landings. I mean, they are really good. Again, all they should be fairly good at unloading troops. If I remember correctly, the difference between them, I mean, sure enough, they are more resilient for attacks on sea and air, or from sea and air, but also they unload troops faster, so that they can get their full bonuses uh, a bit sooner. Oh, and there we go, we've got on this. Oh no, it's not enough. Okay, um, Deuce hasn't been taken yet. Well, I suppose it's either going to be Gaziantep. Or the Bulgarians taking out this. Submarine torpedoes advance. Okay, well, we can come cancel that now. Which is in one more. The submarine hull, which is going to be done 18th of February right now. And then we'll put in a few more submarines underway to be produced. I mean, what is our submarine pr uh, practical right now? 10.5. Transports is 4.8. Uh, destroys 6.4. Capital ships is po only 0.3. So we not really produce any... Capital ships. We might want to get a battle cruiser maybe once we get the anti air armament. Heavy tank gun advances. Ooh, nice. Next one is 1945. But yeah, I think in America the heavy tanks will be useful. Because we should, I mean, depending on if we can keep the supplies flowing in or not. Oh, and the Italians did a landing into Crete. Unfortunately, the British have uh, quite a lot of troops in there. Oh, but they, oh, they finally got around to take Alexandria. Well, at last. I suppose uh, my actions over here may have uh, detracted them a little bit. Battle cruiser, anti-aircraft armor. Yes, that is what I was waiting for. But let's go ahead and get a battle cruiser. Just one is enough. It's going to take a long, long while to make. Scharnhorst. Ah, okay. Right, you are already heading there, you're going to be heading down south. We've got another bomber wing, a wing of tackle bombers. That should be alright, and then is that going to be arriving there? Well, not anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, doesn't look like the Bulgarians are attacking too. How about I give them orders to take that one? Just to get Turkey to surrender. It might take some time for them to actually realise, oh, we need to attack that. But I'm sure that they will soon enough. Bit more upgrades underway. And are we going to get some... Oh, we're going to get a lot of roads in the near future. Mostly building up the kind of supply lines around in Russia. Oh, they did have a headquarters down here. While we're trying to get to Gaziantep. Well then. How about we destroy that? You can start moving down south. You know, getting to Igdir. There we go, we destroyed that. I mean, suppose you could just move along the coast here, take a little bit more. Now, is there an airfield around here? Not really. Heavy cruiser main armament advance. Is that out of time now? Mm, kind of. Yeah, we can probably cancel that now. So once we get these two, we'll build up another heavy cruiser as well. Just in case. Now we'll have a decent bit of troops nicked here. 
We are having a bit of a combat here. Oh, we're actually helping the Bulgarians to push in. I mean, that's fine. That's, oh, wow, that's 20% uh, strength there. Well, no wonder that I couldn't really withstand the attack. Battleship anti-aircraft armament advance. Is that out of time? No, that's definitely not out of time. Yeah, we'll need to get the battleship stuff up a bit more, I reckon. And we're getting some radar stations in... Oh, right, that's still the along the channel, basically. I'm from Amsterdam to Brest. And Brest already has level 9, so if there's enemy ships around here, we should be able to spot them without actually having troops in there. And where is the... these guys? I'm just going to send you down to Sevilla. That is maybe a bit of a dangerous pass that you're taking there, but well, actually it might be fine. Unless there's... I don't think there's an airfield actually in Gibraltar. No, there is not. It should be fine then. Um, how are my... Oh, the paratroopers are on the way. Slowly but surely. And we got another one of those, and I got another one of these, I suppose. Maybe not there, um, hmm. Let's get them in Paris, and then we'll, once we have this entire group, we'll move it around. But we're going to get some more naval bombers very soon. Well, in nine days, another one. But yeah, that should be alright. Now, how are we doing Turkey in the meanwhile? This is just... Beamlining from one port to another, not that we necessarily need to have the ports, but it might be useful. How about you try to get to Ankara as well, if there is someone trying to... Oh, there we go. They took a douche. And battleship engine and heavy cruiser anti-aircraft armament. We enforced conquer on Turkey, we can cancel that one. Now, I think we need to get a one of these corps to do some uh, garrisoning here, so how about you get someone in there. Uh, we'll have the headquarter and one of the units there. Another one over there. And you can go into there. Just protecting the porch over there. I'm pretty sure that they cannot go into Black Sea anymore. That should be alright. And then the troops down here. So we could have one protecting the area down. Or the northern shore over here. So let's... Give these a bit new orders, so you can say where you are. Then we'll leave the headquarters in that one. Someone goes there. Someone goes to Sinop. And then we've got one more, which could maybe... Well, I suppose we could send you all the way there, so that's a bit far away, to be fair. But it will do. It will do. Now, we got some more infantry down here that can start moving down to Ictir. So we've got someone into Igdir already, and we've got more troops moving in there. We can just start moving past Igdir. Get these into Igdir. Do we still have more? We do. So these into Igdir. It's going to have a lot of uh, supply issues soon enough, I reckon. You can get to Yerevan, and these three get to Igdir. Right, I did try to... or did... Uh, wonder if I could get military access from Vichy France, but they do not want to give that to me yet. What about Portugal? Unlikely, okay. So I'm not going to try that one either. But we'll try to get into Iraq as soon as possible, and try to take as much of it as possible before there's any enemy resistance. There is one division there. Oh! There was a headquarters in here. How about you go and destroy that? Oh, and... Oh, bollocks! Well, you were still moving through here, so you'll destroy them, I hope. Yeah, that's one destroyed. And this core... Ooh, right. I suppose I could move you somewhere. Hmm. Well, I got some troops over going over there. We'll just move you into our territory for the time being. Gallipoli. Heavy tank armor advance, okay, we can cancel that run from the research queue, so that leaves us with uh, 64 things to research. I think what we might want to do is just, we got plenty of officers, we got about 50% extra, so yeah, we can lower the officer ratio a little bit. Let's go to like 15 points, or let's get about 100 officers per day. That's going to be still pretty good rate, and then we'll lower the research to 45 research. So a lot more spies will be had in the near future. And that should be... Oh, look at that. Well done, Italy. 
So UK is now 73% surrender progress. Have um, the Italians, not Italian, Japanese done anything extra on that? Like they've um, not really expanded over there anymore. Uh, they've lost that one. So Japan is starting to lose the naval warfare, I reckon. Slowly but surely. Speaking of naval warfare, how is our fleet down here? Um, it's mostly repaired. So I think you can go back down that way and do some patrol. Spain? That's a bold move. Spain is invading Iceland. And I suppose... Oh, Spain is not fighting Great Britain, so they can just land there. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, more naval warmers. It's actually, I wonder if, um, hmm. Just in case. I'll do an invasion over there. Hopefully I can get there in time. Like, I want to get something in Iceland because I need to have a point in here that I can control, basically. Like, it's, technically I can use their port over here just in, oh, there's a garrison there now. So they are actually fighting. Heavy cruiser engine, oh. The Irish are being a bit uppity again. Luckily, we do still have some troops in here. Won the battle in Cork. You can get over there, you can get there. You are still fighting Kildare. Right, yeah, those are the battles that we just started. We're going to get another naval bomber. And we're going to get some submarines in not too decent future in April. And in September, we're going to get some uh, light cruisers and a heavy cruiser. Speaking of heavy cruisers, we can probably get rid of the yeah that research. And of course, we've done pretty much all that we can. Re well, I mean, we could start researching already on the 1944 text. But there is a penalty, even just going one year ahead of time, if I remember correctly. It's not a massive penalty. But it's a penalty nonetheless. Okay, Kildare, we've won the combat there. And yes, oh, look at that. Landing is succeeding. It's only two marines, but it should be fine. Oh, Parsons revolting in Cork again. Heavy tank engine, battleship armor, Cork. Right, so heavy tank engine, we can take that one away. And then let's have a look at the Cork. So it's just, no, it's just another militia there. That's moving in. We did... No, we didn't actually transport more troops over. Alright, well, let's uh, transport some of these over. And Dover. And we are destroying that. Good. Now, how are we doing in... No, we haven't actually entered into Iraq yet. We are almost there, though. Almost. We might want to get to Kirkuk as soon as possible, and then maybe try to get across the river from there to get to Baghdad. And then get over here to start protecting that, but I'm pretty sure that our actions over here have caused the Allies to actually pull back from Egypt a little. Ooh, there we go, another naval battle. Let's slow down a little. Oh, right, that's the, that's the invasion fleet from the Spanish. Hopefully it doesn't get destroyed. We've got seven ships, we've got twelve, so... Oh, we did lose Stuttgart, but we sank one of the heavy cruisers. Uses Pensacola. And actually, the light cruiser is something that we can replenish from here. And just get you to Scarpa Flow, and we got... Oh! Never mind. Another naval combat. They got the... Oh! Uses California taking massive hits there. Can we sink it? Yes, we can. Although, we're probably going to lose some ships here ourselves. But we got our troops across. Let's go ahead and start attacking. Also, over here, we will start building a naval base and air base immediately. Let's get both to level... Actually, the air base, I'm going to get to level 8. Naval base... Oh, no. Well, I suppose we'll get to level 10. Uh, naval base, I'm going to get to level 5. As you need hotkeys and not pressing the buttons. Right, so... Um, we got those sorted. We need to put in these new things to the top of the list. It's not going to be immediate in terms of constructing those, but we might be able to get that done soon enough. So we're not actually joined the battle very good. Oh, yeah, we sank the users of California. Although we are still being bombed, we might lose some more ships here. Oh, yeah. 
Down to 11. No, no. Just down to 11 ships. That's what we had before. Just don't let them catch us again. Submarine hull advance. Okay, good. So we can cancel that one. And let's go ahead and get a few more submarines underway. A bit higher quality, I reckon. Actually, how long of a distance can they go now? Uh, submarine range 5,300 kilometers. Wow, that's actually quite impressive. Oh, yeah. They do take quite a while to build, but not quite as long as battleship or carrier for me. Because I don't have practicals with battleships or carriers, really. Right, so we could. We did join the combat on Reykjavik, at least. It looks like the Spanish are still fighting. They got a width of four. Well, that's actually quite impressive. Kildara is under attack again, so they've managed to regroup over there a little bit, at least. Uh, do we have more... I don't think we have any bombers down here, do we? We've got naval bombers, which... No, that's interceptors. Naval bombers that are still doing bombing around here. I wonder if... We send you down there. How far can you reach? 550. So you could reach about there, but not further. As soon as you get in there, you'll just start moving to Reykjavik as well. I'm kind of hoping to take both of these places. So sorry, Spain, but I kind of wanted this for myself. Kildar is under attack. As soon as you get in there, we might be able to stack wipe a lot of this. And we're getting rid of a lot of these, which is fine. These are on their way forward. Still not going here. I suppose we're going a bit slower, haven't we? No, we destroy an underground base. Right, so... Oh, I thought I told you to go into Scarpa Low itself. There we go. Now, um... Let's go ahead and give you a... You lost a light cruiser. I'm just going to give you Leipzig. And there, we've got two more ships as a reserve there right now. But this one does need to repair for a while. That has a massive amount of damage that we took. The Irish are causing some problems. But it looks like the battle for Reykjavik we should be winning. Especially once we get this in here. Although we're not moving very quickly. We might run out of supplies actually. Oh, there's a Londoner division there that was just pushed away from heaven. Colgany, okay, so we're pushing them back from there. Are you going to take that one? I certainly hope so. But yeah, having just three divisions over here is making things a little bit different. Or difficult, rather. And also, we can transport these two over. I'll move that one to the side just so it doesn't get mixed with the other core of infantry. And we've got the naval bombers now. Good. So where do we need this? Um, we could send it to Faroe Islands. I'm not entirely sure how much it can do from there, to be fair. Or we could send it down to... There. We've got some tactical bombers there. Oh, we've got tactical bombers there. I did not realise that. Okay. Uh, ground attack. Daily, radius, something like that for a month. I should get rid of a lot of the headquarters. A bit more reinforcements, and Bulgaria wants to buy some energy, sure. Now, how have we still... Oh, yes, we have entered here now. You get to Kirkuk, you gave moving south. And we got most of the infantry moving south. How about you just stay here? Oh, there's one division, just defend Yerevan. I might want to get a unit into Baki as well. A bit more reinforcements, so we're going to get... Air base is still in uh, Russia, which are not necessarily that useful anymore. But I might as well build them. Okay, so we did win that. At least the militia was destroyed. You can move in there. It looks like they are really an organization here already, so that is going to be fine. I don't want to use a convoy. Right, we still haven't gotten the paratroopers into this Sevilla, which is going to be our send-off point to invading um, Gibraltar. We'll get there eventually. How about you go there? 
I'm going to push the enemy back. I'm going to go in there, maybe go down that way. Right, it's a battle for Ray here. We go. Oh, the Spanish were pushed back. Oh, super heavy armor tank is something that we can do now. I wonder. How good of a stats does the super heavy have? It's really good armor and piercing attack. And there's a bit of lower heart attack compared to the heavy armor. Because it just doesn't have the upgrades yet. Same for the soft attack, so... Oh, right, actually. Does it say what it's supposed to be? Ah, mouse. Ha ha ha. Okay, it's bloody expensive though. Actually, this is probably an easier way to look at. So it's not definitely not soft. So it's basically taking all the damage in hard attack instead of soft attack. And it's very slow. It does spend a lot of fuel. It's actually slightly less expensive to build right now than the heavy armor. But that's because the heavy armor has a lot of things. Oh, is it? Oh, it's only one third of the manpower. Oh, I see. And the build time is about the same as the heavy tanks. Interesting. So, for the manpower, it's very expensive. Let's go ahead and get a uh, Panzer Grenadier. We got the tank destroyers. Or rather, actually, armor mechanizer. We'll put in super heavy. We'll put a three mechanized. And we'll put in a. Maybe self propelled artillery. That's 45 IZ for that one division. I wonder why it's called. It does one first super heavy armor division. Then we'll do one with a heavy armor. I'll put in some. Actually, it doesn't need to have three of these, does it? No, we can just have three and then. I don't know, armored car and maybe motorized AA. That's a bit less expensive. But the heavy armor division. And also get a regular armor division with a engineer and tank destroyer. So he has a fairly decent heart attack and pitting is only 10 to be fair. Then we'll get some Panzer Grenadiers to accompany them. Uh, you'll have motorized A and another one will have, um, I suppose, engineer. Engineer is fairly good. Especially once we go into USA because there is going to be several rivers that we need to cross along the coast here. That's probably where they are most going to be used and then eventually across Mississippi and all that. It's going to take a while to destroy USA. Now we're going to need a lot of truth for that as well. But that used a bit of manpower, not too much actually. You know what, I'll just get some more infantry. Actually, is there an infantry 42? Oh right, that's just 2 plus uh, 80. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to get 80 in artillery. And get 10 of these. And we'll get 80 and engineers. Another 10. And they'll get one with 80 and anti-aircraft guns. That's going to be a total of 25 divisions. Plus the five, uh, so that's, okay, the total 30 divisions, technically. I think I'm going to arrive them, like, I'm not going to push them to the top of the list or anything like that. We'll get them, oh wow, that's actually a lot of IC being used. But we'll get to them eventually. Right, so how are we doing in Iraq in the middle? Oh, we won the Battle of Reykjavik. As soon as we get Reykjavik, that's going to allow us to get some more supplies in. Which may take some time, actually. Hopefully we'll have enough. I mean, we are building up the port in here and everything else fails. Speaking of ports, I don't think we need quite that much in supplies anymore. Because we don't have that much troops moving around in Russia. So the need for that has uh, kind of uh, evened out quite a bit. Capital main... Oh, capital ship main armor advanced, single engine fighter, airframe advanced. Ooh, right. Uh, fighter, so we can get the... We can get rid of that one on the research queue, and is that in the secret? Uh, no, not the secret. Or was it in the... hold on a minute. Really kind of missile, that might be part of it. Maybe. I mean, that would actually be pretty good for the soft attack and heart attack. Oh man, I think we do want that. Oh no, a rocket interceptor is what we unlocked. Okay, yeah, sure, we'll get that. Not entirely sure if we'll use them. We'll get it. Uh, right, are you going to get in there? I suppose I could redeploy you there. 
Hopefully. Nope. Well, you just attack there then. Oh man, they retreated there as well, and there. Oh, well, it's gonna be messy. Okay, you killed there. Heavy tank reliability. Some enemy fighter air. Ooh, we're gonna get the drop tanks now. That is something that we'll research immediately and put it to the top of the list because that is gonna allow us to have the basically the light aircraft. Oh wow, actually we're gone. A bit over time on this episode. So sorry about that. Um, right, so we get the drop tanks and we'll have um, a lot of range on the fighters and close air support. An extra 200 kilometers is actually quite a massive boost. Well, it's almost doubling. Anyhow, uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.